Good morning, everyone. Thanks for attending uh, this conference this morning. Uh, my name is Andrea Lalama, and I'm doing all this um, for the people in my Yahoo group, for those mothers that are suffering and are struggling trying to reverse the autism in their children. I, I am sharing some of, my, some of my information that I have found through my research and um, has helped me to reverse the autism in my children. Uh, understanding the gut microflora function and dysfunction in children diagnosed with autism and brainstorming possibilities for treatment. Those possibilities may be nutrition, bowel nozzles, homeopathic remedies, and bacterial therapy. These are my boys before they were diagnosed with autism. Uh, the bottom one is Mark Anthony, and the top one is my second boy. Uh, during the, um, the gut microflora is acquired during the first two years of life. It has been documented that 400 to 500 species inhabit the human intestinal tract. But this value originated from a statistical analysis. Uh, only 113 species were isolated from 20 different samples. So in reality is that not even the medical community or the, or the most expert scientists at the moment know exactly how much or how big it is our microintestinal flora. The composition and activity of this flora have a profound influence on health and disease throughout their environment in the nutrition, pathogenesis, and immune function of the host. That is currently what most gastroenterologists and scientists that do study the human biology uh, believe. So if you pretend to cure a dysfunction of 300 to 1,000 species, with three bacteria species like Lactobacillus, Acidophilus, and Bifidus, you will probably fail. And that's what we are seeing right now in the community. The, most of the treatments, when you go to a Dan physician or any other nutritionist to, look for, to seek for help, the very first thing they do is give you a lot of probiotics. I'm not saying it's not helpful. It, it, there's tons of studies that proves and shows that it is helpful. What I'm trying to say is that it's not enough. You need to look a little bit further than that to heal the gastrointestinal dysfunction autistic children has because it's a lot more complex than pretending to cure with 3 billion, 5 billion capsules of lactobacillus acidophilus. And that's what I encounter with my own children. I encounter that I keep giving them and then when you send the stool analysis, it comes back that they don't have any flora, any good flora, any lactobacillus, acidophilus. And you guys will ha see that over and over and over. And I've been copulating this information from the mothers in my group saying, Andrea, any idea why I give for two years uh, these amazing Kirkman or you name it, uh, probiotics to my son, and the stool analysis still show that he doesn't have any lactobacillus or any good flora. So I did question myself, what is killing the flora or where is going to? And this is what I have, this is what I found out. Every person carries his own range of different species. The miasms mentioned by Hahnemann, our parents constitutional heritage, our unique individual markup, and by ad ad adulthood, this profile remains stable over time. Uh, so to me, um, I want to make a point that 